So here's the fun project that I got to work on that required a quick turnaround. A simple display screen for sports boats that had no direct interactivity. It's actually interacted with from switches that surround the screen. Quite a unique way to interact with the screen if you ask me, but who am I to judge? I had a pretty good setup right off the bat. The client provided me with the color scheme they already wanted, all the data requirements were provided up front, and they even had a layout suggestion in the form of a wireframe. Now I don't know much about boating, so the first thing I did was just a bit of research. Look up terminology, but also some competitive analysis, kind of what is everyone doing and what level of design has been standardized or expected. How can I design against that and possibly plus it? I've been doing vehicle interfaces for quite a bit, but this is my first time doing boat interfaces. And while not the overall current trend in design, a lot of these industries like to see the skeuomorphic but kind of futuristic designs. That's something that looks realistic and tactile but still flashy. So when I open up a new file, the first thing I start to do is just laying out all the data that I need. I begin referencing the interesting shapes and textures that the actual boat has. This will ensure that we stay within the overall brand style for this particular manufacturer. I'm using sort of a pearlescent flaky blue paint color here. Uh, there's some subtle metal textures. Metal is seriously played out in vehicle interfaces, but I tried to use it a little bit sparingly here since it is reflected on the boat itself. A good thing to note here is what kind of hardware this will be running on. It's good to set your expectations and what you need to design around. This one will be running on an OS called QNX, which for the sake of argument here, uh, are generally considered low-end machines. This one in particular will not be supporting masking, and it will only support very basic animations, so I've got to design around these limitations. I'm not a real big proponent of red in UIs. Uh, it can bring unnecessary attention to things, but I found a good spot for it to fit in and I know it's something the client wanted. I sort of designed myself in a corner here with these with this bottom layout. I couldn't quite figure out where to put the left and right titles. But uh, I think it's okay. It's all right. Along with the flat render, I always like to show the client what it will look like out in the wild. It also helps me get a high level feel for contrast issues or reflections that may occur. I think 